Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy SR7 and welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing Shapeshifter's Marcelo. So as you can see from his stats, he is 5 foot 9, he's got high low work rates, left footed, 5 star skills, 5 star weak foot, nice upgrade on the weak foot there. Let's just hop into the stats. So looking at the stats, you can see he's got 96 pace, um, well with 96 acceleration and sprint speed, a huge upgrade on the shooting. 94 with 98 positioning, 98 shot power and 94 long shots. He's got 95 passing with 99 crossing, 96 short passing and 94 long passing as well as 99 curve so he should be able to bang in those finish shots from everywhere. He's got 98 dribbling with 97 agility, 98 ball control and dribbling as well as 96 composure. He's got 90 on his defending stats and he's got 88 physical consisting of 96 stamina and 90 aggression. So those are pretty much his key stats, that's what you should be looking out for. Um, anyway, let's just hop into the gameplay, we can see how he plays and I'll give you guys a rundown at the end as well as an overview and my personal opinions on the card. Without further ado, let's just get into the gameplay. So we start off here with pretty much the easiest assist you'll ever see as well as the easiest one of Marcelo's career. We just play the ball short to Insigne, some nice dribbling there which he does score from. Here we get the ball, uh, we play it down to Insigne, Insigne comes around in a circle, back down to Marcelo. That's a nice touch pass to the defender which he hammers past the goalkeeper. Here we win the ball back with Vieira, play it down to Fernandinho. Fernandinho uh, out to Marcelo, Marcelo over the top to Mane. Mane takes a great touch there and finishes with a plump. Great pass, great assist from Marcelo. Here we get into the ball with Best, we play it down to Mane, Mane across to Marcelo, back to Mane, Mane with a few touches there, chips it past and Marcelo runs onto the rebound which he has a nice easy little tap in there to put us ahead. Here we get the ball with Marcelo, some uh, good tenacity to win it back, he gets the ball back onto his uh, strong foot and he strikes that across the keeper, great finish. Here Marcelo shows some nice little dribbling there, he plays the ball over to Insigne, uh, sorry, over to George Best, who has a easy ball across to Mane, from which we score. Before Marcelo comes back down here with a great little turn there, he wins the ball back, plays it over to Mane, great pass there. Mane squares the ball to Best again, and Best with a nice easy little tap in yet again. Here we come down to Best, we play it down to Fernandinho. Fernandinho takes a touch, he plays it down to Mane, Mane with a cross, and Marcelo rises highest to score with a plum there, powerful header straight past the keeper. Best into the ball here, plays it to Marcelo, Marcelo one touch, rolls around the keeper, great skill there and a nice tap it into an empty net. Mane on the ball here, he gets the ball, he plays it down to George Best, Best down to Marcelo who has an easy tap in there yet again, great positioning from Marcelo before coming right back down again here. Marcelo on the ball, he uh, gets past the defender, some nice skill there, comes back onto the inside, Again, great skill and unfortunately the shot was blocked, but we do get it back with Fernandinho here. Play down to Marcelo, some nice dribbling again there to come around the defenders and strikes it across the keeper once again. Here on the board, Marcelo, he shows some great dribbling here and a good finish there after some nice little play from him. Before getting on the ball again with him right here, we come back onto the inside and we fire that across the keeper. Great play, great goal, that was a good finish from him. Uh, but we're not done there because we do get into the ball again here. We win it back and we play it across to Marcelo who has a nice little tap in yet again. Here we get into the ball with Fernandinho. We play it down to Mane. Mane sends in a great little cross here over the top to Marcelo. Weak footed volley. Great shot. Great finish. Good goal there. Uh, before winning the ball back here with Best. We play this ball, a uh, little uh, ball over the top to Marcelo. He takes one touch. He strikes that right across the keeper into the top corner. Beautiful finish, but again, we are not done there. We get this ball, uh, we play it down to Marcelo. Marcelo's bearing through on goal with a beautiful weak footed finish there, right into the near post. Here, Marcelo tucks his penalty away in the shootout, um, showing you his clinicality from the spot as well. Here, we get the ball again with Marcelo out wide. We are bearing down on goal, showing some good pace here. Good uh, finish there, once again across the keeper on the weak foot this time. Uh, making use of the 5 star weak foot, showing you how good that is. And again here from Marcelo, turns around the defender with a great little finish across the keeper. Here we get the ball with Best, do some nice dribbling across to Mane, first time cross to Marcelo who taps it into the open net 
and that was a beautiful shot and a beautiful finish. So as you can see, we do end the review with 11 games played, 16 goals and 2 assists. That is a extremely good return from this Marcelo card, phenomenal player, excellent on the ball. Um, but anyway, I'm going to pretty much just get into each individual stat and give you guys an overview of what I think about him. And yeah, you guys can decide what you think of him from there. So we'll start with pace. Um, not much to say there. This Marcelo card feels rapid on the ball. Off the ball, he is extremely fast as well. So, you know, when you do play him through on goal, he is really quick and the defenders pretty much can't catch him or at least can't keep up with him. But you saw a few times in this review, he did get through on goal and, you know, nobody could get anywhere near him. So speed-wise, you're going to have no problems there. This card is rapid. Uh, let's move on to shooting. Okay, so this is where a lot of people might be slightly concerned with this card. And that's because he is naturally a left back with much lower shooting. So a lot of people are asking and have been asking if the shooting stats may be a fake stat. And I'm here to quash those rumors and put those to bed. Pretty much tell you that his shooting is most definitely not a fake stat. His shooting is phenomenal in-game. It's insane. It's really good. Um, I'm sure you've seen from this video, he's got a catalog of insane goals here. His shooting is exceptional, I have to say that. So, for me, um, what stands out about the card on the shooting is his finishing. I mean, give him half a chance in the box and he will take it. His, his little finishes are really good. Um, he's very clinical. Uh, another key stat for me is his finesse shots. I mean, his finesse shots are crazy good. He's got 99 curves, so you would expect it. Uh, his finish shots really were very good. A lot of them go in uh, or, or work the keeper and create a rebound for a teammate. So his finish shots are great. And the five-star weak foot, I have to say, comes up clutch. He scored a lot of weak-footed goals in this review, which I'm sure you guys have seen. Um, so that five-star weak foot is really helpful and it is very noticeable in-game as well. Okay, moving into passing. Uh, well, it's Marcelo. You, he's probably one of the best crosses of the ball in real life. Uh, one of the best passes as well, so you can imagine in game his passing is crazy good as well I mean not much to say there either if his teammates make a run if his teammates find themselves in space If they do anything pretty much Marcelo will find them easily His passing is crazy good his creativity is really good So you know that's important his crossing is insane as well. So they got that spot on just like real life Okay, let's move on to his dribbling Dribbling, again, another crazy, crazy good uh, stat on this card. Once again, he was a phenomenal dribbler in real life, so they got that spot on on this game. His dribbling is crazy good. He's not the biggest of players as well, so that really does help him. He's got high agility and balance, so he can move in and out uh, really quickly. He can do that really well. He's got good circle dribbling, left stick dribbling. You know, when he gets going, he's really hard to tackle. He's really hard to get off the ball. He is so, so skillful on the ball as well. He's so silky, he's so smooth. His dribbling is just crazy. Uh, throw the five-star skills in there as well, and you pretty much have one of the best dribblers on this game. Defensive-wise, I'm not too sure. I played him striker, so not much to say there. But, well, he's got 90 defending, and he is a defender. So you can imagine his defensive ability is pretty good if you want to play him in midfield. And physical as well. Really good there as well. Another good stat. Um... He is pretty strong as well, surprisingly enough, so when you do run through on goal, he is able to hold off the defenders. Coupled with his pace, the defenders can't really push him off the ball. He's able to hold his own, stand his ground, and he's able to run through without any issues there. As well as just generally holding off defenders. Pretty good at that, good strength there. And his stamina obviously is another major plus point on the card, because he can run forever. Okay, so anyway, pretty much for my overview of the card... I do think he is a phenomenal player. He's a crazy card in this game. He is a game changer. And he pretty much can win you games on his own. He is that good. So what do I think of him? Do I think he's worth it? 100%. I do give him the stamp of approval. If you want him, please don't hesitate to get him. Go out there, snap him up as fast as you can. Throw him in your team. And just watch your overall gameplay flip-flop onto his head. You'll get so many uh, more wins. He's going to score so many goals for you. And he will just improve your overall enjoyment of the game 100% facts. He will do that. He is that good that he can do all of those things for you. Um, and he can bring all of those aspects to your general gameplay. 
Okay, so anyway guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button, leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so already, and until next time guys, peace.